we'll start off with just the dashboard itself. Uh, the dashboard shows um, timelines, which is across all of the projects in the system, uh, any punch items that you may have logged against any of the projects, any overall time against all of the projects logged through labor, uh, the budget across all the projects, and potentially any forecast data that you might want to include in there as well. So with this being a test database, it's relatively empty, so there's not much to show. Then you go into project section, which will show all of your active projects within the list um, that you'll be able to click into and they act as a repository of a whole heap of data that would be logged against a project. Beyond that, you've just got filtering to say groups, which are projects within certain groups, uh, the map view, which will show if there is a dress loaded, where all of your projects are located. Closed will be any of the projects that are in the status of closed, like we mentioned earlier, instead of active. And that just allows it to basically be removed from potentially logging time against closed projects, as well as just a keeping it tidy that it only keeps active projects in the list will be visible to people. They act as a repository of a whole heap of data that would be logged against a project. So that comes down to tasks linked to a project, milestones, uh, forms, files, as well as equipment and potential products that you may want to track against the project as well to make sure that everything is basically in one spot so that project managers or um, directors can get everything without having to go searching constantly for the data.